I got to get this right. This is like my fourth time doing it, and it's pretty ridiculous because it's really easy. What's up, y'all? I just was talking to myself, fussing out myself. It's your boy Ray J coming at you another know, Basement Boy production. You know how we deal. Yesterday, I did a guitar praise break tutorial. So today is only it's only right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a alternate bass shouting or alternate shout bass tutorial. So instead of doing I'm just give you something different. Little saltiness, little saltness, little sweetness, some sugar, spice, whatever you want to call it. Let's go to the throne of grace. The higher name of your shine, forgive us for all our sins. Continue to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy. And just another day to get it right, Father. As we go into this lesson, increase our skills and our talents, our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Father. As we water and plant, continue to give the increase. Help me to speak with clarity and help the viewers to learn and understand with clarity. And as we water and plant, give the increase, Father. And we will never forget to give your name all the glory, honor, praise. For it's in your son, Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen. So, like I said, just give you maybe four or five alternate bass lines. It just, because with the bass line, sometimes you just don't want to just keep doing a straight one. Like when you change the bass line, it would give the bump like a different type of feel. Whether if it's like a country bumping type of feel or like a, you know, a, a funk feel or just a different feel other than just that straight line because you can have fun with it when you change it up. So I'm gonna just give you some. So the first one, it's really easy. So, and if you don't know the shout and run, all it is is you hit the root, we're in C sharp. All right, so you just hit the, the one, then you go chromatically from the three to the five, then from the six to the one, and that's it. And you just walk it up, same thing. All right, so instead of just, it's all right, let's do this. All right, so I'm still doing the first part or the first half. I'm doing that. Now, when I go to the six, I'm doing six, five, six, one. Those are still four notes. So remember, it's four notes for the first part and it's four notes for the second part. So now I'm just alternating the last four notes. I'm doing six, five, six, one. So. All right, so that's that's a real easy one. Now, if you want to uh, build on that or add something to that, I want you can do triplets. So watch this. Triple it, triple it. Triple it, triple it. So triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. And for your picking, it's up to you. Whatever feels comfortable, you could do the triple it like for the the six, you could do double, triple it. You see what I did with my left? Triple it, then triple it. Or you could just do it all triple it. Now 
and I got to slow down because I wasn't being accurate. So if you can hear me being not accurate and I had to un inaccurate, you just slow down to get it. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. And you keep doing that until you get into a groove where you could do it. All right. And it's, it's kind of hard, especially depending on what the uh, speed you play or y'all, whatever speed y'all, y'all do the shout. But that's why you practice. So you just start, just start slowly. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. All right. So that was the first one. Now, another one you could do is... So that's still, I'm still doing the first four the correct way. In the last four notes, I'm doing five, six, seven, one. So it's more like you, you hear uh, Jocko do that a lot. And I just did two ghost notes when I was doing that. So, so, um. So one octave ghost octave, then two ghost notes, then five, six, seven, one. And that's just for that group, but for the shot one, no ghost note. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven, one. So now, do you, now, I wasn't doing the first four up top. I did the first four higher, and then I came back low for the five, six, seven, one, because it gives it, it's like a, you know, uh, unbalanced baseline where the one run is high, and the next one is low. So there's like a little imbalance or unbalanced, so. All right, so that's another one. So if you now let's say I just gave all the lines where we changed the second half of the run. Now let's see what we can do. We could change the first half. All right, so All right, so what I did, I, so no, so I did, all right, so that is from the minor third to the third, it's a hammer on, then four to the five, hammer on, then you do the regular, the second half. And I got that from uh, my bro, DJ. All right, another one you could do is. All right, so that is minor third to the flat seven, the high flat seven. Then flat five to five. 
first one. Second one. All right. So. All right, and as I'm giving you these, feel free to mix and match as you choose. So I'm just giving you little stuff that I do, but you can uh, either add to it, take some away, and add your own feel. I'm just trying to, you know, to, to spark your creative juices, spark your creative mind, so that you can, you know, figure out, you can put combinations together uh, yourself, because that's where the creativeness really sparks from an idea of creativity and I'm just trying to give you, you know, that little seed or idea. So so you can also do five, six, seven. So mm. So, and with that one, you want to hear the cadence and the rhythm. And I did a lesson, I think like two lessons ago, on the importance of, you know, rhythm or your rhythmic expression, how you make notes sound. Because instead of doing this, one, two. So, this sounds a lot different. So. So, let me, so let me just do the regular one. See this regular way? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now watch. So I did a little pause then. I kind of I sped it up towards the end. So it's not. It's. Pause. Pause. And when I get to that five, I cut it down. So, and again, and I'm just giving you, just throwing out rhythm, just so you can, you know, also experiment uh, with rhythms, whether if you're speeding them up or slowing them down or just giving it like a little pause before you continue. So, oh, And you can also do that if you didn't want to do the seven, you could do, you could do five, six, one, five, five, six, one, or you could do. Five, six, five, five, six, one. Now, five, six, seven, one. So right there, it's the same rhythm. I'm just, on the first one, I'm doubling up on the five. And the second one, I'm just doing five, six, seven, one. All right. So another rhythm you can do is... And I love that, especially when I'm in B flat and I'm using uh, my my B string. I love B flat, but we're not in B flat, we're in C sharp. All right, so all that is, 
I do the six, flat seven, three, one. And that brings me back to the one. So I'm doing. And that's kind of funkish. go back into it all right that's another one and another one you could do if you want to do like a little quartet joint So any mix, any combination of that. So the first one I did is one, back to that five, six, one. So two, three, five, six, five, two, three, five, six, five, five, six, seven, one. All right, so two, three, five, six, five, five, six, seven, one. And the other one I did is, and it's up to you when you want to add this run in. So you can add that run in to take the place of the first half or the second half. So if you wanted to take the place of the second half, it would sound like this, second half of the run. So... So the first one, I took the place of the second half. So I did the first half, run. And that's the quartet, major pentatonic, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one. So I did take the place of the second half. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the place of the first half. Second half. All that is and that's just when I get to the one that's just a walk up to the major chord two minor third three and that you go to major seventh then to a seven and then to a six Alright, so and so remember you could take the place of the first or the half or the first or the second with this major run. Alright, now what's another one I I can show you? 
All right, so that's like a kind of like a again like a Jocko ish slash funkish. So five, six, seven, one. That five, six, seven, one. It gives it like a different type of feel. Like oh, all right. All right. So five flat seven five six five five six seven one five flat seven five six five but for this one you want to catch the cadence and you want to catch the rhythm and that's just a major chord walk up to the from the six to the one and another thing you could do when you want to uh when you're like uh, returning it what i like to do is a chord i'm a, so you're going to do all major chords that just means the root note and the, it's third so watch this So that's just a major chord walk up. Three, four, flat five, five, six, flat seven, seven. It just sounds like, you know what I mean? Especially if you do it up here, so. Cause when you do it down here, it sounds like he's about to fall off the cliff. He's about to fall off the cliff. All right. So let me see if I another. One. I showed you about like five. And again, this is just to get. I know it's twenty three minutes, but it's a good twenty three minutes because I've been showing you stuff and giving you ideas to spawn your own creativity. And remember. The whole notion of I need to come up with something on my own without the help or inspiration or advice from from someone else, it doesn't exist. Anything you could come up with, someone else has done something like it. Because this is 2019, the base isn't new. So ideas are just being recycled. But what makes the ideas your own is when you embrace something you like, and you just add something or take away something. So with all the stuff I showed you, add something or take away. I'm just want to give you something out of my repertoire, out of my inventory to spawn or to further your creativity. Okay, let me see if I got another one. Oh yeah, you could, you could do this one. All right, so all that is is the regular, the first four, and for the second one, I'm doing one, two, flat, three, three. And 
So that's that's all that, and you can do that uh, on a walk up, and you go back down. And another thing you want to uh, consider is uh, trying to do like little double stops or just double notes, like quick uh, 16 for eight note. And it, it comes with practice. So like this, and you take it slowly, go slow, be slow. So see, I doubled up on that six. I still got to practice that just so it could be crisp and clear. So you just want to, uh, and you can also practice just, like I said, just said, doubling up on those because it gives it a different rhythm. That's cool. Now watch this. All right. So this is 26 minutes. If you watch the whole 26 minutes, can you can you comment? Because I will never do a video this long if at least one person doesn't finish, you know, watch the video from straight from beginning to end. So if you watch this entire video, I need you to comment so I can say thank you. Well done. I appreciate you for uh, tearing along. All right, let me try to, I think, I think, yeah, I think that's it. So if y'all have any questions. Holla at your boy. I got you. I'm going to answer all your questions, anything I could do to help the ministry of our bass players. All right. So one love and God, of course. All right. Peace.